hello friends welcome back to another video on python coding in this video we will be seeing how you can create some beautiful graphs using python and how you can plot your data into graphs and different figures okay so the library today we will be seeing is plotly and plotly is a python library to plot different types of graphs and figures and scatter plots and pie charts okay so here I have, uh, if you haven't installed the Plotly library, you can use this command pip install Plotly. Okay. So I have already installed. So I will be directly going towards the code. Okay. So for plotting graphs, so first of all, you need to import the library. So here you can see I have written the code import Plotly dot express as Plotly and Plotly dot graph objects as, as graphs. So these are the two libraries that you need to import before starting the visualization of data. Okay. So now let us see here. I have defined a variable plot and uh, I have written plot. So this is how we can draw a bar chart. Okay. So this is the code for bar chart and for bar chart, you know, we need two variables that is X and Y. So uh, x will be for x axis and y will be for y axis okay so for two axes we need two variables okay and here i have written x is equal to d1 d2 d3 and y is equal to 1 2 3 so here are two lists okay and uh, using the this list i will uh, and uh, yeah so here uh, you have to define axis basically so here is uh, x and y axis you have to define okay so here you you can see on x axis i have defined some variables and on y axis i have defined some variables okay now if i run this okay so first of all let me run this yeah so now we have imported successfully yeah now if i run this and then you will see here a graph is displayed so this is d1 d2 and uh, d3 and they are having their particular values as 1 2 and 3 and here on the y-axis you can see the numbers are given at the interval of 0 0.5 like 0 0.5 1 1.5 2 2.5 and all okay so this is how my graph looks like okay so here you can see it is written produced with plotly.js version 2.9.0 okay and here you can also zoom this graph and here are different options that you can zoom in or zoom out okay so this is was about the bar chart using the plotly library okay now let us go to the scatter chart so scatter chart is another chart that use that is used to define relationship between two variables and uh, yeah and for this also we need two variables that is x and y and here also i have defined some list like x is equal to 1 2 3 and y is equal to 1 2 3 okay so so yeah so whenever you have big data or whenever you are working on data frames then it is very important to display the data frames as the graphs or charts so that you get very useful insights very quickly okay so from this i can draw a uh, insight that okay so this uh, scatter plots give me a straight line so i know that there are no variations so for uh, when x is 1 i know y is 1 when x is 2 y is 2 and when x is 3 y is 3 so from this graph i get that there are no variations in my data the, the, my data is very clear and straightforward okay so this was about the scatter chart and plotly dot scatter is the function for plotting the scatter chart and inside that you need to define the axis okay and uh, then plotly dot bar is for like yeah bar chart okay so let us come to the pie chart so plotly dot pi is the function for the pie chart and here i have defined the labels okay so i am having three labels c1 d2 and d3 and my graph will be defined into three parts that is one two and three okay so here you can see the value two is for d2 value one is for d1 and value three is for d3 okay so this is about my pie chart and yeah and uh, and yeah this is how you can plot the pie chart and you can easily get uh, what your data needs to 
say like you can get an insight what your data is about or how it is divided into different parts okay so that is why pie chart is used so there is also next uh, graph that is histogram so let us see about histogram i have only defined one variable in histogram as we know that histogram is given for a single variable okay so now this is my histogram and here you can see the variation is here and here when x is uh, when x is 1 then here it is 1 and then count is equal to 1 and here i have seen the count is 2 then x is 2 minus 3 okay so this is about the histogram and this is how you can plot the histogram and then we have the box plot so you can see this is my box plot and here i have defined a simple variable x is equal to 1 2 3 and here box plot will give me the median so for 1 2 3 we can easily see here the middle value is 2 so median will be 2 okay then we have the max value that is 3 and we can get the minimum value that is 1 okay and uh, yeah and yeah this was about the and these two are the quartiles and this is the quartile one and this is the quartile two okay so this is how you read the box plot and you get a median value then you get max and minimum values then you also get quartiles okay so these kinds of plots and this types of charts are very useful when you are doing the data analysis or data visualization problems and whenever you are working on data frames and you need to draw quick insights or you are working on data science problems then this type of plots and graphs are very useful okay so the next one is also an important chart that is the candlestick chart so candlestick chart is usually used to define the if uh, it is used in different types of stock predictions okay so whenever you have some data of the stocks like here i can see the data is given that is open price high price low price and close price okay so whenever you need to define uh, whenever you need to work on financial data or the data of some stocks or something then you can use the candlestick chart and yeah and candlestick chart it goes like this it will tell you the open high low and close values and yeah and from this you can get uh, insight like at what price your stock was uh, when it closed and when it opened and what is the highest price for the day of the stock or what is the lowest price of the day of the stock okay so yeah so this was about the so this was about the plotting different graphs in python and using the plotly library i've also posted a video on how you can plot graphs on matplotlib library if you want to plot graphs using matplotlib library you can uh, visit to my youtube channel and you can see that video okay so yeah so this was a short video on how you can plot graphs so thank you for watching this video if you really liked my session please like comment share and subscribe to my channel thank you